Hello, I'm Mabuhai. I'm Jose Raspal, a registered migration agent from Australia and the author of this book. Avoid the migration minefield, safely migrate to Australia from the Philippines. Uh, the Department of Immigration and Border Protection have released a series of fact sheets that provide information to the general public for around the world regarding topics that involve migration to Australia. Although they appear to be comprehensive, they do not actually cover specific solutions, remedies or strategies that may be needed in your particular de facto visa application for Australia from the Philippines. This is an important video so I urge you to stop it at any time and replay it so you are clear on the information provided so that you will act accordingly and therefore lodge a valid and genuine de facto visa application for Australia from the Philippines. A common occurrence, many Australians and Filipinos are now involved in de facto relationships. However, the Filipino applicant may have many specific issues that need to be addressed well before a valid and genuine de facto visa can be lodged, such as being married in the Philippines. So, what would be your next move or activity in ensuring that you both lodge a valid and genuine de facto visa application for Australia if you are married in the Philippines. Hmm. How can you both organize your lives and relationship in order to meet the general requirements as set out and explained on the fact sheet 35 one year relationship requirement for de facto partners to Australia provided by the Department of Immigration and Border Protection on their website. What does it really mean and how does it really apply to you, if ever? When your relationship specifically is with someone from the Philippines and they may be married as well. As an example, if we drill further down with this one particular concern which was a Filipino applicant still married in the Philippines, Another issue that may flow on from this is that a majority of married Filipinos have uh, children as well. How then can the Filipino applicant ensure that their children are also included in any de facto visa application for Australia from the Philippines? Can the children be left behind in the Philippines in the interim? and then allowed to join the uh, Filipino applicant at a later stage once the Filipino applicant has settled in Australia and has uh, secured their Medicare and working rights? Hmm. How can this all be maturely discussed, organized, strategized and then accurately pre prepared in the Philippines before you proceed any further? Another vague and confusing issue that is confronted by both the Filipino applicant and their Australian sponsor is um, does the Australian sponsor and Filipino applicant even need to lodge and secure an annulment in the Philippines if the Filipino is or the Filipino applicant is married in the Philippines before they can lodge a valid and genuine de facto visa application for Australia? Is there another way around this long and expensive and obscure annulment process in the Philippines? Hmm. The plot is now thickening. Do you even really need to be in a de facto relationship and living together for the 12 months to be able to lodge a valid and genuine visa application at all? Well, these are very interesting questions. How do you navigate a clear visa pathway that are linked and multi-stage, which could take time to manage and secure, leading to the Filipino applicant and their children, if applicable, in securing their permanent residency in Australia and eventually securing their Australian citizenship? Does the Filipino de facto visa application need to be lodged in the Philippines at all? Can it be arranged so that the Filipino applicant and the de facto visa application are lodged in Australia instead? Well, why don't we find out? I have been lodging hundreds of partner visa applications 
for the past 16 years for Australia from the Philippines. My team of 16 highly qualified and trained members are here to ensure that not only will your particular de facto visa application be successful, but you will also experience a professional and remarkable service along the way. I have a unique tried and proven system and methodologies that I have used in the past 16 years that will address any situation that you both find yourselves in now. We use our exclusive five-step de facto visa for Australia application process from the Philippines to ensure you understand all your other options before we decide which de facto visa pathway you will like to pursue and not what you feel or interpret you are being forced to do by the general information you have been reading on government websites or worse still, getting advice from unregistered and unscrupulous individuals or organisations pretending to be registered migration agents. Remember, I act only in both of your best interest. I know you're confused. I know you are frustrated. That's why I urge you now to respond immediately after watching this video by sending me an email using our automated online questionnaire or a text message with all your contact details so we can clear a time and a place to discuss how we will nail your particular de facto visa application for Australia from the Philippines, which will include all the family members of the Filipino applicant, if applicable. You really need to read the first four chapters of my book now by downloading a copy from our website at www.respal.com and then getting in contact with us as soon as possible. We will use this and other internal publications as a map to assess every aspect of both your past and current relationships and it will clearly guide us to decide the appropriate de facto visa pathway tailored specifically for both of you and the circumstance you find yourselves in today. Remember to replay this video if you did not hear or understand the information the first time. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward in lodging your particular valid and genuine de facto visa application for Australia from the Philippines sooner rather than later. Mabuhay.